Man, it's pretty nice out. Maybe I should think about working outside today. You know, the nice thing about laptops is that they're so portable. You could pretty much work anywhere you want. You don't have to worry about anything else. This thing has it all. A screen, a keyboard, a trackpad. What would we do without laptops? Now where was I? Perfect. Now I could finally get some work done. Welcome back to the channel. This is Scott K. This is a custom mechanical keyboard. It was purpose made for one thing, delivering the best typing experience. This is a laptop. It was built to do many things at once while remaining portable. So pretty much jack of all trades, master of none. And yes, it does have a keyboard, but typing on a laptop keyboard isn't something I would say I enjoy. It's shallow, it feels light, it's mushy. So if you want that elevated typing experience from a mechanical keyboard, this is pretty much my only option, right? It was, until now. Now, with the help of portable keyboards like this, you can add a sweet mechanical keyboard to pretty much any laptop without dropping an 8 pound keyboard on top of your frail little laptop. So today, I'm going to cover two such devices to help out this little guy here. The first of the two is the NT68 Portable Keyboard by EpiMaker. The NT68 is essentially a 65% mechanical hot swap keyboard that was slimmed down to reduce the all bezels, turned low profile to reduce the height, integrated chassis and plate, and given Bluetooth wireless to reduce the need for a hard connection. The overall idea of the NT68 is simple. Provide as close to a full mechanical keyboard experience as possible for your laptop or other mobile devices. The NT68 comes in the typical Apple Maker gray box and comes with some additional accessories like switches and pullers, USB cable, and even some keycaps to switch between PC or Mac and to customize your look. Speaking of keycaps, the NT68 comes with Apple Maker's own ASA profile caps, which is essentially a cross between Cherry and SA profile. They're thick and very thocky keycaps. It being a portable keyboard for laptops and mobile devices, it comes with its own trick folio case. It can help lift up the NT68 to provide a better typing angle or really jack it up to give you something much more aggressive. It can also support tablets or other mobile devices so it could be a dedicated keyboard for your iPad. Just add a mouse and you got yourself a pseudo laptop. And finally, it can also just be a full coverage case. That's pretty neat. For $105, the NT68 comes as a fully built keyboard. This means in addition to the caps, it also includes switches. Mine actually came with Apple Maker's very own chocolate brown switches. I don't know why they call this a brown switch because it's insanely tactile, even more so than your typical holy panda. In addition to that, the housing is very unique. Instead of having the sliders on the lower housing, the chocolate browns actually have it on the top. I was ready to knock these for being a brown alternative, but I was quickly proven wrong. These are actually pretty good. Only qualm is that they come so heavily lubed that I had to wipe some off. But overall, these are good to go. No lube or film really required. As mentioned before, the plate is integrated into the chassis and the entire top and sides are made of aluminum. The aluminum starts from the top and then it cascades over the sides like this. And from the top, the whole thing just looks like solid aluminum. But when you flip it around, you could actually see that the bottom is actually plastic. The USB-C port and the power switch is located on the left side. And the little hole you see is the indicator light. The NT68 comes with some generic plate mount stabilizers. I'm pretty sure they're the same ones that the GK boards come with. And I advise clipping, lubing, and using some band-aids on the plate to make it a little tighter. And finally, the NT68 features per-key RGB with north-facing Gateron hot swap sockets. I would say that this is a pretty clacky keyboard. The chocolate brown switches feel very tactile, but they're also pretty loud. So for me, I would probably go with a linear or maybe even a silent switch here. Now moving on to keyboard number two, the Air 75 by Newfie. 
The Air 75 is a portable wireless 75% keyboard, pretty much built ground up to be as thin and portable as possible. They made sure the case height was a minimal 16 millimeters and did a lot of things to keep the form sleek as possible. Like the NT68, the Air 75 also features Bluetooth wireless connection and 2.4 gigahertz radio connection. When I first saw this thing, I thought it was so sleek. When you first open up a box, you expect to see a keyboard, but wait, what is this? Nufi includes a set of stickers of your very own keyboard waifu. There's also a poster of the said waifu as well, which doubles as a user manual. Oh, you also get a keyboard and some peripherals like pullers, extra switches, and a USB cable in case you're wondering. Remember when I said that this thing was designed to be as thin as possible? That meant that Nufi had to use the latest Gateron Low Profile Hot Swap Switch, which provides a thin profile but a very decent 2.75mm of total travel. It also features MX style stems, and I did check and it did fit standard profile caps as well. However, one thing to note, it uses hot swap sockets but it's not the same as your standard Cherry MX Switch, so the dream of dropping in some Holy Boba U4Ts are not going to happen here. However, since this is a still mechanical switch, you could open them up and lube them with some Crytox as necessary. Keeping with the thin and sleek theme, Nufi also created an ultra low profile Dysa PBT keycap set for the Air 75. The legends are crisp and these low profile caps are actually pretty thick. They feel very nice and substantial despite their minute height. They also come in another colorway called Coast keycaps, which is like the stock ones but with gray alphas. This is something interesting. In order to keep the profile thin, Nufi had to use low-profile Cherry MX stabilizers as well. They are perfect height to match the low-profile switches and overall works the same as a Cherry plate mount stabilizer. They actually work really well out of the box, so all I did was add some band-aid to the plate like I did for the NT68. Alright, like the NT68, the Air 75 also uses an integrated aluminum plate that is built right into the upper chassis. This provides strength without having it to be too thick. Similar to the NT68, when you flip the board over, you do see that the bottom is actually made of plastic, but in this case it also features this ultra mirror finish Nufi badge right in the center. It also has this cool trick where you could add magnetic feet to the back in order to help create a more comfortable typing angle. When you take a look closely at the PCB, you do see that the Air 75 features per key RGB and north facing configuration and the set Gateron low profile hot swap sockets. The controls for the Air 75 is actually on its back with the slider to turn it on to wired or wireless mode and another slider to swap back and forth from Mac or PC. There is also a USB-C port on the back for a hard connection or for charging. Like the NT68, the Air 75 also features a nice carrying case. It has a nice faux leather surface, and like the NT68's folio, you can also use it to prop up your tablet or mobile device. So after trying these out, what is my thought on these portable laptop keyboards? I think innovation is important for every industry, but being the first generation of these such keyboards, I'll be honest, they are a bit rough around the edges. The sizing could be probably refined, better feet configurations to fit more laptops, etc. However, I do feel that they accomplish what they were designed for. Both the NT68 and the Air 75 are far better keyboards to type on versus the standard laptop one with much better feel and sound. They are also both very portable with great wireless connection. I would say that the NT68 is probably the better typer of the two, given its more standard approach and greater adaptability to take on standard switches and caps. On the other hand, the new Fee 75 has better design and additional function, being a 75%, and a lot of new innovations abound to keep it thin. At the end of the day, I would actually travel with either or to bust out for long typing sessions or when I miss my mechanical keyboards at home. But where I really see a great use case for this is this. When you're not using it on your laptop, I would so use this for my tablets or mobile devices at a cafe or on a plane. Also, my laptop is actually a convertible, so it works absolutely perfect on the stand. I really do feel that this configuration is nearly as good as uh, using a desktop at home. Going forward, this is exactly how I plan to use my laptop now. As usual, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe and I will have more content for you in the future. Thanks.